we're going to talk about the books that we gave five stars to this year. We're not going to go into depth about them, but we want to like just have like a list of the books that yeah. we gave five stars to. Okay, so before we talk about um, our five star books, we want to give you our Goodread stats of yeah. 2017. I am currently reading a book, well two books technically, but I think I'll finish one of them this year so it might be an extra one added. Who cares? So I have read this year 50 books. That is a lot. It is a lot for me. I read maybe half that last I was, year. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I read 62 books this year and I mean I didn't, I don't think I even read half of that last year. So yeah. I mean it's Joining BookTube has definitely skyrocketed Me too. Reading. And this is a good pace for me. We're busy moms. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I'm like trying to defend myself here. Like, oh, I read 50 books. Like, uh. But no. No, no that's still it's a, a lot. Good, yeah. It's a good pace for me. And also I like to read, I like to read big books. You read, yeah, because see, my page, the amount of pages I've read yeah. is average 22,711. I read 12 more books than you, but you still almost read just as many pages as I did. Yeah. Because you read, you read the bigger books. I read those big books. You did. Like, Pillars of the Earth. <laughs> that thing is massive. This is big. So, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Right. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So, I feel like people give too much, like, put too much on the amount of books yeah. that you read, but like... I mean, they could be small books or big. It, it just doesn't even matter. Yeah, as long as you read, man. I think so as long as my you read, Goodreads man. goal for the year was one book. High five! I did that. I think mine was forty. Forty? Like you? Yeah. I think. So I I don't know. I remember setting it around forty. I don't think it was fifty. And I was like, I I'm really worried if I'm gonna get forty. Yeah. And then I surpassed it, and I was like. But I don't think I'm going to really bother with, like, setting one next year, because I, I just don't really care. I, yeah, I don't, I don't give much weight to it. No. Okay, the shortest book I read this year was Lumberjanes, uh, a graphic novel. Uh, 128 pages. I read a shorter one. Okay. <laughs> the shortest book that I read was Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, yeah. and that was 59 pages. Yes. And that was actually your book. It was. I yes. let you borrow that one. And you still, you got me way beat on the biggest book. The biggest book I read was Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson, 781 pages. Okay. Longest book I read was A Dance with Dragons by George R.R. R. Martin, 1,125 pages. See what I mean? Like, that is a massive, massive book. So the most popular book on Goodreads that I read this year was The Fall in Our Stars by John Green. Me too. 2.7 million reviews on Goodreads. Yeah. And the book that we read that was the least popular was uh, Introvert Doodles by Marzine Marzi Wilson. Only 489 people have read it. And on rated Goodreads. on Goodreads. Yeah. Yeah. So my average rating for all my books overall in 2017 was four stars. I gave an average of four stars. That's actually, I think that's really, really good. I think so too. I mean, that to me sounds like, hey, you've had a pretty good reading year. Yeah. My average rating is 3.9 stars. Very close. Yes. To four. I think we had good reading years. Years? <laughs> year. Year. A good reading year. A good reading year. Okay. The book that we read that had the highest rating on Goodreads is Gemina by, oh my gosh, I, I got your syndrome. Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. <laughs> Chris Kristoff, you mean? <laughs> So anyway, it, that was fun. Yeah. That was actually, this was my first full year on Goodreads. So I actually really enjoyed being able to look back on uh -huh. stuff like that, you know? Me too. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to keep doing that. Indeed. So well. very quickly, we wanted to run through some of our five-star ratings for the year. Obviously, we read a lot of the same books. We did because we have a book club that we go to together. Mm -hmm. So we read at least 12 books that, that were the were same. same. And on top of that, we read some books on our own together uh we actually read quite a lot i feel like books. towards the end of the year we were pretty much just about reading the same books every month <laughs> and the beginning of the year we weren't as much but now we are and uh, but i really like it i do too like i don't mind i don't either yeah I, i'm not even mad no <laughs> <laughs> okay so we both gave five stars to smoke it in your eyes and other lessons from the crematory by caitlin doty which um we did a review on and discussed it all in one video that's the only time we've ever done that we just said we talked about it as we went why you should read this book we'll link that down below Hello. We'll link all of our stuff down I, below. I actually think we're about to read her second book. Oh yeah, that's right. For book club. I mean, it's still up in there, but right. looking like that one's going to be the winner. Yeah. So, I'm excited about that. 
Uh, I also gave The Handmaid's Tale five stars this year. Excellent book. Apparently I did not do that, but, um, because I, the end was a little weird for me. Yeah. I think that's what happened. But I had the best time reading it with you and Andrea from Oversoft Bookcase. Oh my gosh. I think and that's watching the TV show. Great conversation. Yeah, and Fantastic. we're still friends with her, and we're, we're gonna get back together when um, the show picks up again yeah. and, and talk about it. We did. We watched the season finale together. We timed it where we could all vox and watch it together. It yeah, was fun. Yeah, that was fun. I miss her. Okay. okay. I also read Heartless by Marissa Meyer, and I gave that five stars. And, I haven't read it yet. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Good. Yeah. I think I'm going to wait until I'm excited about reading it. Yeah. Then we I both... Wouldn't. Sorry. <laughs> I was going to say, I wouldn't unless, you know, yeah, you but, should like it. Right. <laughs> you got so excited to say that, too. <laughs> I know. I cut you off. I <laughs> even brought it with me because she has hers lent out. Long yep. Way to a Small Angry Planet is my favorite book of this year. I would... Yeah, I would tend to agree, Yes. I love it. Like, so if there much. was six stars on Goodreads, I'd give it six. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It was excellent. I will never, ever forget the characters in this book. I will be rereading this book forever. Um, it's not even been a year since we read it, and I would totally be down to read it again. Yeah. Already. Yeah. Well, we read this in January. Yeah, almost a year. Almost a year ago. So, when the next book comes out, I'm going to time it to where? I'm going to reread this, and then... Yeah. Oh, I'm even going to read co Close in Common Orbit, because yeah. I really love that book. Yeah. I didn't give it five stars. I didn't either, but I still really enjoyed I it. I loved it, and that's only because I was comparing it to this book. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Otherwise, I would have given it five stars, yeah. I think. I think I did the same. So, <sighs> yeah. I also gave five stars to Introvert Doodles by Maureen Marzi Wilson. Uh, I It's a little comic book. What is it? Graphic novel? It's like kind of comic strip. It's yeah. like a comic strip. And it Each page about... is different. It's not like a cohesive story. And it's like little, you know, jokes about being, what it's like to be an introvert. Yeah, I thought it was very charming and sweet, and I just, I really enjoyed it. So I just gave it five stars for what it was, you know? Yeah. Uh, it was whatever for me. Yeah. I, I only I think it's like more of stars. a kind of relatable thing. Yeah. And I think, you know, it's fine. Maybe you're more introverted than I am. I would actually agree with that. You think so? Yeah, I really do. I don't know. I don't know, because you're better at talking to strangers than I am. What? Yeah, but then I think about, like, you did theater and stuff, and I just don't want, really want to, like, do anything. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to do anything. Okay. You're around people. <laughs> anyway. You don't want to do anything. You are a homebody. I really, really am. Yeah. Okay, so, um, Christina got me Saga for Chris- no, it was my birthday. birthday! Whoops! My gosh! I said Christmas in another video and I didn't mean to. Yeah, that's okay, though. Alright, uh, she gave me Saga for my birthday and I read it in the car on the way to a concert in the back seat. Nice. I really like it and I'm excited to continue on with the series whenever that happens. I don't know when. She then lives it to me, and I also give it five stars. It was fantastic. Loved it. Then we read East of Eden by John Steinbeck. I gave that book five stars. I thought it was a masterpiece. I did not. <laughs> Which is kind of confusing to me. <laughs> but I also didn't really pay attention when I went through my Goodreads, so. No, no, you didn't. I remember you didn't love it as much as I did when no, we read it. No, I, I think I at least gave it four stars, though. I think so. We read it with... I enjoyed it, but... We read it with, uh... Samantha Leanne. Samantha Leanne over at Leanne's Lit. Sam the Slayer. I don't know what she rated it. She's a great, great person to buddy read with. She is, yeah. We really enjoyed And East her. of Eden I freaking loved. Yeah, it was really good. I, I really watched the movie it. with my mom and it's stupid. Oh, that's a bummer. I hate it. I don't want to see it then. No. I thought about it, but meh. They, no, they get rid of the whole Hamilton family in the movie. What? Yeah. And That's that, like the whole story. Lee's not even in it. That's the whole story! Lame. Okay. So then I finished uh, The Hero of Ages, which is the third book in the Mistborn trilogy by Brandon Sanderson. Five stars. One of my favorite trilogies of all time. That's awesome. Actually. Then we buddy read Memoirs of a Geisha with Nicole over at Who Picked This Book. I gave it five stars. Loved it. I thought it was uh, a great book. I think I gave it 4.5 stars. It's uh, among an honorable mention category. Yeah. I really like that book. Um, but I didn't give it five stars. I also gave Illuminae five stars by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I was really sucked into it, and of course the format of the book, everybody knows. Super cool. Really, really intriguing. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I really enjoyed it. I did not give it five stars, and I think it's because I didn't feel like a, a close connection with the characters, although I really loved Aiden the AI, and I want to yeah. read more AI stories. Yeah, me like, too. And, and A Long Way from, to a Small Angry Planet is about an AI, and Close in Common. And I want to read more AI stories. Yeah, I think it's really I interesting. I think this is a cool thing where, like, AI is becoming, like, 
a, a thing now. A cool thing. Yeah, I did not give Jimena five stars, though, because I felt it was pretty much the same story we told. Yeah, and and I thought that was kind of forgettable, yeah. Jimena-wise, yeah, but I really did like Lumine a lot. I did, too. And, and uh, you know, I feel like a lot of times when I read series, the first book that really captures me and I have a lot more strong feelings towards. Sure. Because then I kind of, like, expect more out of the second book. Yeah. And then I can look back and I remember the first one with fondness because yeah. it's when I was first introduced into right. the world. And so, I mean, I, I do admit that, like, my first novels tend to be higher rated because that's when I first learned about it, and I, I love just, like, first diving into a world, you know? Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. Then we both listened to Girl Walks Into a Bar by Rachel Dratch. Yeah. Dratch? Dratch. I always have a problem with her last name. Uh, she was on it. SNL. Mm -hmm. Hilarious. Hilarious. So funny. So down, honest and down to earth, too. Yes. She gets really personal mm -hmm. in this book, and I was so happy just listening to it. I thought it was just perfect. I even liked it more than I liked Tina Fey's memoir. Oh, we listened to the audiobook, and she, Rachel Dratch, narrates it, and we really like reading memoirs where the person who wrote it narrates it. We we do. I was sitting on the couch listening to it and I literally laughed out loud multiple yes. times and my husband was like, what? And I'm like, it's the audiobook. It's the, and I was trying to explain it to him, but it just didn't <laughs> land. I mean, she has such a comedic timing. Yeah. But like when she's talking about real situations, she just has that thing about her that's just, oh my gosh, it was fantastic. You, you guys should like you really, really, really listen to it. It's yeah. That's good. It was hilarious. Oh my gosh. Moving on. Okay. Okay, so then we both reread Ready Player One. We read it last year for the first time, and then we decided mm -hmm. to listen to the audiobook this time. And I think um, that's because the movie's coming out soon. And it was narrated by Will Wheaton, which was really cool. It is very cool. And I would like to do, like, a, a vlog where we go see the movie together. That would be fun, like we did Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, we do have a Beauty and the Beast vlog where we go and watch it and just, like, talk about all of... Our very first vlog. That was... Like, it's the only vlog we've ever done. Yeah, it was interesting. Yeah. It was fun, though. I really liked that video. I, I watched it a It few cracks times, me like... up when we're trying to film in front of the poster and the guy... He, like, came and was changing the poster right next to us, and Jessica just, like, turns the camera on him. And I was just like, what do we do? <laughs> Being in public with a video camera is no joke. You think, like, I'm used to filming. Like, it's right. all good. You go out in public and whip out a camera and see how people look at you then. <laughs> so I listened to Lonesome Dove by Larry McCurdy. I think that's who wrote it. Yeah, Jesus. that sounds familiar. It does, doesn't McCurdy. it? McCurdy. Uh, a story about friendship and unrequited love in the Wild West. It's really good. Very long audiobook. The narrator is really awesome. I had watched the um, television miniseries as a, a kid. The book was like just as good, if not better. Good. I Excellent. loved it. Wasn't it like 40 something hours of audio? Probably. Which, by the way, this one that we're listening to was 44, and I saw that and I was like, shit, I'm <laughs> never going to finish this. I don't think you really did, because I'm like 14 hours in. No, I'm like two hours in. <laughs> I know. Every time I go and I keep seeing yours, is like, past 10 hours in, I'm like, mother ever, <laughs> this is not gonna happen. Sure, I was like, this is a really good book, you should uh, pick it up with me, and then she, you're like, yeah, okay, and then um, an hour in, you're like, this is 40-something hours long. It's so, Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell was 32, and I never finished that, <laughs> and really this one, I'm like, oh, hell, but I'm just gonna go with it, whatever. I really like me some long audio books. Then I... Listen to we both um, did. audio. We both did because mm -hmm. I bummed Jessica's account because she's so nice. <laughs> uh, Rhett and Link's Book of Mythicality. Yeah. Uh, there's more words after it. I don't know what they are. It's, it's a long <laughs> title. Uh, hilarious. If you don't know, they are the gentlemen from Good Mythical Morning. Super funny. They're BFFs. It was just great. It was great. Um, I didn't feel like I learned a whole lot of new things because I listened to their podcast <laughs> and... Um, because it was like, it was very much like they were reading it, and it didn't feel like that natural flow that they have when they're just talking. Yeah. And, um, for that reason, I, I didn't, I didn't love it as much as I thought I was going to, but I did enjoy it, and I did learn some new things. I gave it, like, four stars, I think. I gave it five, but I also have not listened to their podcast as much, or yeah. seen their videos as much, so for me, it was a lot of new information, and it felt like I was getting to know them more. Cool. Uh, so just from that aspect, and I thought it was very funny, but I... You can tell they're reading it, but yeah, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Cool. 
Okay, so we read The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings trilogy <laughs> this year, and it, I just loved it. We read it with Sue from the Restricted section. Uh, the Return of the King by J.R.R. Tolkien is my favorite book of the series, and I gave it five stars. That was the second one, right? Return of the King is the third book. Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, Two Towers, because it's got two, and it's the second. That's how I remember that. Right. I feel like Michael Scott right there, you know? <laughs> oh, that is. Uh, you don't watch The Office? Oh, oh no. Okay, never mind. I, I do not. I really enjoyed the series. Uh, if it wasn't for Buddy reading it with Jessica and Sue, I would not have pushed through it, but I'm really glad that I did. But not not five stars for me. All right. We read, uh, we have a review and discussion about it. We've talked about it. Daughter of Smoke and Bone <laughs> by Lainey Taylor. <laughs> Sorry. We just did the discussion and review of the third book. Dreams of Gods and Monsters. <laughs> and, like, we do nothing but hate on it. And I feel so bad because Daughter of Smoke and Bone, you guys, I give it five stars. Five stars. And we just were like, we didn't like this, this, and this, and this. We did the discussion, and it did not, we didn't it just, expect it to go that way. No, it did not. But it did, so. <clears throat> Yeah. Whatever. That you know will what? be up soon. So. Uh, it will. And you know what? I'm glad that we read it. Yeah, yeah. The series. It yeah. was very creative and wonderful. And the first book is fantastic. And again, first book, man. First introduction into that world. Sure. Getting a, a new adventure yeah. and characters. I loved it. Um, it just, you know, you can watch our review and discussion if you want more info about <laughs> sure. how we felt about the third one. Okay. Uh, and then we both went to oh, man. Nashville to yeah. see John Green and Hank Green in person and get his signed copy of Turtles all the way down. <laughs> which we then read. Which we then read. And gave five stars, and too. And gave five stars, too. Yeah. I think we did a review and discussion. No, we did, for sure. Yeah. We'll Man, link it. We're going to be linking a lot. You're going to be linking a lot of reviews <laughs> yeah. and discussions down below. Uh, hey, oh, cool. You just mentioned something interesting that I've been wanting to talk about, and I never get to talk about it, and this okay. is a, you know, you're in thing, and so why not? Uh, okay. Okay, and that is that we take turns editing oh, yeah, yeah. our videos, and we all, we plan out who edits what video before we film it. Our very first videos, I edited for a couple months. For, yeah, quite a while. You did all of them. When you started editing, mm -hmm. we started saying who edits that video at yeah. the bottom, just for fun, for us. So if you go into the description and scroll all the way down to the it's, bottom. It's the very, very last thing. It'll say who edited the video. You know, nobody probably cares, but I think it's interesting. I do too. Uh, we, we've noticed we definitely have very different editing we styles. We do. And we have two different editing programs. So we do. Our yes. videos don't seem to, like the graphics don't yeah. match up at all. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm able to do certain things that she's not able to do because yeah. uh, I, I have, have iMovie. I do Movie Maker. And, and which I had to use at the when I was just right, doing it yeah. myself. She's upgraded to iMovie and I'm just like super jealous. It's I just thought that good. was interesting. And yeah, I'm going to throw yeah. it out there. In the middle of this video, no one's going to see it. <laughs> if you're still listening, thanks. thanks. And FYI, <laughs> Jessica edited this. Thank you. <laughs> yes, sure. You're welcome. Oh, we both read The Book of Lost Things by John mm -hmm. Conley for mm -hmm. our In Real Life Book Club book. Indeed. We have a review and discussion on that one as well. Yep. And five stars. Loved it. Yeah. I want to read more about him. I have a, a tiny list of books that I gave 4.5 stars to because these are books that, like, could be five stars, and I still like think about really on that cusp. Um, and that is Pillars of the Earth by Ken Follett. I'm currently listening to World Without End. World Without End, which is the second in the Kingsbridge series. It takes place two centuries after Pillars, so there's no like character. All the characters from the previous book are dead, but they are mentioned a couple of times. Then I have A Dance with Dragons, which I really loved. I gave it four point five stars. I can't remember why. Because you have to wait so long for the <laughs> next one. <laughs> what about Nine of Cake and Puppets? Oh, I forgot. I also gave Nine of Cake and Puppets by Lainey Taylor five stars. Uh, because I think it was I gave just it so fun. It was really sweet. It was cute. cute. And like, that's it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's it. We did it. So th anyway, that's our five star ratings and some honorable mentions from this year. Just because we wanted to. Do you want to do some honorable mentions? Mm. Alrighty. Thanks for watching our video. Oh, why do I always freaking forget? When nowadays? you play the game of tones. Why? <laughs> I don't know. It's, we've been doing this forever. I'm just going to smile. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes are like, okay, when you play the game of tones, you read or you die. Come be our friends. Social media links in the description below. And we hope you're reading a great book. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I almost forgot my part.